Imagine 20 to 30 foot long cylinders made of tungsten being fired from a satellite in orbit, raining down on Earth like a meteor at speeds of more than 10,000 feet per second. Conceived in the 1950s by science fiction writer Jerry Pornell, these cylinders known by him as Thor and others as rods from God have since become realistic possibilities being considered by a Pentagon determined to be able to handle any potential threat. Preparation for this day started as early as 2006, when the New York Times reported that these rods were included among future system concepts in a recent Air Force transformation flight plan, with the ultimate goal being the capability to strike ground targets anywhere on Earth, no matter how deep, think of nuclear stockpiles hidden deep underground. However, the modern incarnation of these brilliant devices differs from what the military had originally conceived. The focus has switched to the concept of kinetic weaponry, which the Veterans News website Task and Purpose described as a super dense, super fast projectile that, operating free of complex systems and volatile chemicals, destroys everything in its path. Whether dropped from the sky or fired from the cannon, the principle behind these weapons is the same, hitting the enemy with something very hard and very dense, moving very fast, task and purpose noted. And the kinetic energy projectile may become a staple of modern warfare sooner than you might think. In 2013, the US. Air Force reportedly tested one of those kinetic energy projectiles, managing to make it travel three times faster than the speed of sound. And just a few months ago the Navy tested a powerful, new railgun that used the same form of technology to propel an electricity-based projectile to speeds of 4,603.61 miles per hour. Granted, the mission to eventually fire a Thor projectile from space hasn't disappeared by any means. It's just been updated to match what's capable with contemporary technology. But given a bit more time and some more technological gains, this super weapon will eventually become a reality, much to our enemy's chagrin. Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about this upcoming super technology slated to eventually allow the United States to annihilate an enemy compound or stockpile from space. What do you think about the potential uses of a weapon such as this? Scroll down to comment below.